Hello Aquarius and welcome to your May general tarot reading. Thank you so much for joining me in this virtual space. Aquarius, we're going to start by picking one of the major arcana cards and a moonology card to set the tone for this month. And then we will do your tarot reading. Aquarius, what is the general energy for Aquarius in May 2023? How crazy <laughs> it is that we are already in May. I cannot believe it. Okay. The moon card is your general energy. So the moon card is about uncertainty. It is asking us to flow with what is happening. We cannot predict. We can only prepare. Uh, so the moon is everything. It is the possibility for everything. And it is shining a light on the unconscious. So... You could be having very intense and important dreams. You know, you could be getting some messages through your dreams. The month of May could be feeling like you are navigating uncertainty. Every time I see the moon card, I say that. But it's true. It's such a good way to talk about this energy. Riding the wave of uncertainty. And you are an Aquarius. You know how to ride that freaking wave, that's for sure. <laughs> okay, let's pick a moon card. What is this energy? Confidence is your key to success. So trusting, trusting that whatever shows up, whatever happens, good, bad, stressful, happy, whatever, you will make the right decision for you. Be confident in your own wisdom, especially with the moon card here. And then this new moon in Leo, which is, you know, my personal favorite moon. It's the new moon in Leo. I absolutely love. This is a good time to manifest and ask for what you want. It could be a very lucky time for you. And yeah. Let's see. Let's see what this is all about. Uh, Aquarius. I hope that the retrograde is not being too hard on you. It's a very intense time with the eclipse and the retrograde. And now we are in Taurus season. Honestly, I've been feeling it. And it's been very intense. So I think that the only thing we can do really when we are going through such major astrological events is to be present in our bodies because everything again is very uncertain up and down our mood can be very affected by the astrology so you know be present as much as you can whatever it means for you Okay, we have the Wheel of Fortune as first card. I like that. Things are moving. Um, the Wheel of Fortune, I'm always happy to see it. It's still connected to uncertainty in a way because, yeah, the wheel is turning. Something that has been very fixed, something that has been the same for a long time, is finally changing. And that could be exciting. That could also be stressful. You know, tarot represents life. It's not just butterflies and rainbows and happiness. Uh, life is full of ups and downs. It's full of surprises. So the Wheel of Fortune feels like that right now. But things are changing. So what have you been feeling stuck in? What energy have you been trying to move or change uh, because something is changing here? And we have the Five of Swords, Two of Wands. So there is still early in the month of May a feeling of being stuck somewhere. There's going to be options opening for you. But in the back of your mind, your ego maybe, your nervous system is saying you're stuck, Leo. There's going to be options, but you're going to feel like you're supposed to choose one. Five of Swords to me is very connected to the pressure that other people put on us. 
So when you experience those things, like, oh, I, I know there's many options, but I feel like I have to do this. I feel like people are expecting me to say this, do this, show up in that way. You really have to, again, come back to your body and trust your own wisdom. Is this really my truth? Or am I being influenced by what other people might say, think, do? I think this is very important. So in some way, you are reclaiming your power this month. There could, have, there could be a feeling, especially in the month of April, like someone taking your power away. Have you been overthinking a situation? There could even be someone that's not in your life physically that takes your power away because you think about them, maybe you dream about them. I feel like there's something that's ending early in the month of May around that. And it's going to come from your own confidence. It's going to come from you saying, you know what? I don't care. I don't care if my choices, my life is making another person feel uncomfortable. I think that you're going to be noticing that someone was projecting something onto you. This is what I'm getting here. And with the two of wands, I like that you are going to take your time before making an important decision. And by important decision, I mean something that could change the course of your life or something that could really open infinite possibilities as long as you are confident and you choose what's right for you. And again, taking your time could be very important here. We are in Taurus season. This is not necessarily an energy you're comfortable with, Aquarius. You guys know how to take action. You are quick thinkers. I love that about you guys. But in Taurus season, you know, until the end of May, we are asked to slow down. Slow and steady wins the race. And this is a theme that's going to be coming up a lot. So when you feel like your ego, your nervous system is rushing you towards something, it might not be the right thing. So it's important you, again, anchor yourself, ground yourself, listen to your body. No one knows you better than yourself. And this is going to be one of the big lessons early on in the month of May. I like that. Growth, magic, change, and I would say an important decision. And I know that you're going to choose what's right for you. And what happens when we do that is uh, sometimes people are not happy for us. It's not your problem. And that's what I'm trying to say here. How other people perceive your life and your choices, it, it's not yours to hold. It's their own thing. The star, I'm not surprised, magician at the heart of this reading. And we have the page of sword. So yeah, my intuition was right, Aquarius. I know that you're going to make the right decision for you. And also, not only you are choosing a new path, one that you are in total control of, you are healing something in the process. We're talking about a deeper layer of healing, something that I believe you've been struggling with for a while now. I'm so happy to see the star card. This is your card in the tarot. It is so beautiful that we have the moon. You know, overall, there's this uncertainty. There could be fear. There could be a lot of magical moments, but there is healing. And again, another layer of healing, something that maybe comes from your childhood, some type of pattern, some type of behavior that you know is not yours, but you've been, you've been uh, reacting or doing something because of how you were raised maybe, because of circumstances. I think that now you are freeing not only you, but your inner little one. And I think that there's something important about that. And you know, when I think about the month of May, I think about this nurturing energy. We, I feel like everyone is dealing with the inner child, our inner little one in the month of May. Um, 
There's something important about that. It's like you are reclaiming your power. And I told you, there's a lot of magic this month and the magician is here. So you are in full control of your destiny here. Be careful what you manifest, what you wish for, because it might definitely be happening before the end of May. So the things that you say you want, the things you believe you want right now, is this really in alignment with your values? You know, month of May, I think a lot about values, Taurus energy, Hierophant in the tarot, there's something about that. You're going to be confronted with those little challenge. Like, I always thought I wanted to, let's say, find love. But actually, what I really want right now is to heal and feel good with myself. Like, there's always a deeper layer, another layer of something here. Um, magician is, you know, it's amazing. I feel like <laughs> there is no bad side to the magician card, in my opinion. It is the connection between you and the universe. You know, think about the infinity loop. And again, having full control. Have you been dealing with people trying to control you? Or is it your mind? Were you trying to please someone? Were you trying to be, you know, the good person in a situation, but actually it was to your detriment. I feel like there's a lesson around that. And your self-confidence is, is really going to shift in some way. I don't know why, but I feel like there could be someone that really messed up your confidence for a while. They made you doubt yourself. Not anymore. Look at that. The strain card. So again, the infinity loop is here. It's only showing up three times in the whole tarot and you already have two cards with it. So the infinity loop to me right now, because, you know, it can talk about so many things. This is your connection, your infinite invisible thread with the universe, your guides. So definitely a lot of magic for you. A lot of special moments. Maybe connecting with your guides. It could be connecting with your beloved dead. You know, if you've missed someone and you've been talking, praying, journaling, whatever it is, you are connected in the month of May. So the strength card, there is something that you are healing, especially seeing the star card here and all of the major cards coming through. There are things that you used to struggle with. Things that you did not like about yourself, but maybe your mind was saying, well, I'm just like that. My parents were that way. My grandparents were that way. This is how I was raised. This is how it is. Something is transforming in the month of May. And when I see a lot of major cards, I know that this is a major change. So some things that you used to not like about yourself are becoming tools. You are noticing that a way of doing things, again, it's not a line anymore. It's not a line anymore with your values. I, I said it maybe three times. You're stepping in your power, reclaiming your power. And I kept thinking about the emperor. I'm not surprised it's showing up. A lot of major cards. And I know it's going to sound very intense, you know, and I'm not trying to sugarcoat. I always want to be real with you guys. But there's something very, very powerful happening and something that could happen once in a lifetime. This change. And it's like what I'm getting intuitively is that you are figuring out who you truly are. And I don't care how old you are, how young, um, you are figuring out something very important in the month of May. And I hope that if you feel comfortable enough, you can come back in the comments and let me know. Reclaiming your power, your identity, and really choosing a different path is what I'm, I'm feeling. So Emperor is about 
you know, it's connected to Aries, the baby of the Zodiac. It's about our feelings taking up space. And we have the Page of Cups, Page of Swords. I talked about the inner child. I feel like since January, everyone's inner child has been kicking and screaming. This is boring. This is too serious. I want to have fun. I want to take up more space. You know, when you're a kid, if you're pissed off, you scream, you shout. You know, if you're happy, you can scream, you can shout, you can kick, whatever. When we are kids, we make space for the feelings. It's not even making space. It's just like it happens naturally. And the emperor being the baby of the zodiac, it's all about the foundation. Who you were before life got in the way. You know, what are the things that you're passionate about? I feel like for a lot of you guys in the month of May, you're going to be rediscovering a passion, falling in love again with a passion that you had when you were a kid or a teenager also. Something that maybe you had to let go because again, of life got in the way. Rediscovering something and being curious. There's something about curiosity and it feels very fun. And that could be something that you do, again, just for fun because you want to get your hands messy, you want to play, you want to keep yourself busy. You know, it's such a good way to deal with anxiety and deal with um, boredom also. You know, when life gets too serious and you're like, all I do is work and pay bills. I feel like we're all there at times. When we let the inner child come up and say, I want to create, I want to paint, I want to do this and that. It feels good. And this is what's happening in May. A passion is coming up to the surface. And it's something that I believe you were interested in when you were younger. Okay. With the emperor, the son of the morning. Uh, every time I see the emperor, I know that there's something about your morning routine. How you start your day. What is the first thing you do when you get out of bed? Making sure that it supports your nervous system. It supports the health of your body. You know, I know I say that a lot, <laughs> but I'm an advocate for not, you know, having your cell phone in your bedroom and not just running to social media in the morning. I think that how you start your day is going to be very beneficial. Can you take two minutes out of your day and go outside, look at the sun Drink a tall glass of water, breathe, stretch, even if it's just two minutes. But not activate your nervous system right away. Not have to deal with triggers first thing in the morning. I don't know for you, but when I used to go on social media first thing in the morning, my day was ruined. And I did not know why I felt pissed off, why I felt... Um, not confident or weird about myself. It's because I, I was triggering my nervous system, my self-esteem first thing in the morning. So how you start your day? You know, Taurus season is a lot about that, Aquarius. It's like the mundane, the day-to-day, -day, our habits. Are your habits aligned with your values and with what you want to accomplish in the future? Are you stuck in some habits that you know are not so good for you, but you got comfortable in them? This is the time to step out of your comfort zone and change a little something that will have a huge impact. Okay, so I like this reading. I wish it was mine, honestly. Let's clarify and pick more cards. Aquarius. Okay, the King of Cups. So I'm just going to push that back. I got some comments. Sometimes people are like, I don't see all your cards. So, you know, my mind is getting in the way now. And I'm like, I need to show all the cards. Anyway, so King of Cups. When I see the Kings coming out in the reading, especially the King of Cups, I know that people are going to need you. Okay, so... The kings and the tarot are about showing up, how we show up for our community, our family, our clients. If you have clients, um, 
your boss, people at work, your neighbors. It's like people are going to need something from you. And with the King of Cups, you are asked to show up with empathy, with vulnerability, and with an open heart, really. So remember that people are going to need you. It could be people needing you for emotional support, wanting your advice, wanting to have a meaningful conversation. Don't underestimate the power of your influence, Aquarius. Very important. I know that as an Aquarius, you probably know that you are influent. You know, you are someone who... I, I feel that, and I don't know if everyone thinks the same as me. It's probably my personal opinion, but I'm very inspired by your Aquarius energy. You guys put your own signature on everything that you do. You are community people, but at the same time, very independent. I like that balance there. So I'm very inspired by you guys. Um, but it's one thing to know that. And it's another thing to really be careful with our power. The words that you use, people are going to take that, you know, it's going to be gold for them. So be careful, be mindful. When you are speaking about your experience, when you are helping someone, listening to someone, know that this could be a magical moment. And a magical moment is something that happens that can change the course of your life or someone's life. Don't underestimate the power of you showing up, being your true authentic self. Very important. And you know, it's not about the recognition. I'm sure that there's many times in your life that you had a conversation and you literally impacted this person for the rest of their life. You don't know that. People don't always tell us the impact that we have. Again, it's not about us getting the recognition. It's about you showing up from a place of love. King of Cups. Knight of Pentacles and the Fool. So this fits beautifully with what I just said. You know, being your true authentic self but still being careful with how you show up because your influence is going to be a very big theme this month. Like, I don't know why I'm getting that, but it could be someone saying, I'm so happy I finally left my boyfriend, my girlfriend, because of what you told me. And you're like, whoa, 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 whoa. I did not tell you to do that. I just gave you my example. You know, I just talked about me. So just being careful. What do you want to share? What is valuable? Um, staying true to yourself, but also making sure that you are supporting. And with the infinity loop that keeps on showing up, all the good conversation, every time you show up for someone from a place of love, this is going to come back to you, my friend. You know, it's all going to come back to you. So... The Fool is everything, you know. This is a card that is like, in my opinion, just outside of all the tarot. The whole tarot is the story of the Fool. And I felt that earlier. It's like you choosing a new path, even rewriting your story in some way, reclaiming your narrative, reclaiming your story, and taking control of something. I like it because it is a soul calling. You are not taking control because of your ego, because you want to be the best, the most powerful, the most this and that. No, you are listening to a soul calling. And that's why other people's opinion, are it's not going to be as important in the month of May. Maybe you say it's never important. I think that if we're honest with ourselves, um, there's always a moment where we can get influence or when we act on something and we're like, oh my God, this is not really what I wanted to do. I wanted to be good and nice here, but it was to my detriment. I feel like it's important that we slow down and really check in with ourselves. And as I said earlier, your body wisdom, your own wisdom, 
and there's something that I love to do that someone taught me recently and it really works. Every time I have something important that I'm undecisive about, I stand up straight, I close my eyes and I ask, uh, what does my body think about this? Should I do A or B? Is it a yes or a no? And if the body, your body is going to go to the front if it's yes and to the back if it's a no. Probably some of you already know that trick, but I invite you to try it because <laughs> I thought it was BS when my friend taught me that. And then I've been using it because I have a really hard time making decision on um, and very undecisive. So there's going to be a lot of times in the month of May where you have to say, just give me a moment. I don't know right now what's best for me. Let me check in with myself. You know, and that's another way of showing up with love. It's an act of self-love to really pause and not rush decision and to really listen to our body and to our own wisdom. That is an act of self-love and love for other people. We are inspiring people when we are able to really ground ourselves and check in. You're not looking for a teacher. You're not looking for someone to tell you what to do. Your body is trying to tell you what to do. And again, no one knows you better than you, Aquarius. And I think that this month, this is going to be a big theme. And maybe right now you're like, I don't know what you're talking about. If you come back to this reading at the end of the month, which I invite you to do always, to really see how the cards are playing, uh, in the month of May for you, you might really understand. And especially if you're trying to learn tarot, it's always good if you connect with a reading to come back also at the end of the month and connect the cards with what happened in your life. If you're learning tarot, this is the best way to become a master is to live the tarot, to connect the cards with our own experiences. And I feel like this, this month is going to be full of knowledge, full of experiences and lessons. And I like that for you. We have the Three of Wands, the Ace of Swords, and the Empress. So, yeah. Uh, I like that. You know, again, we are in Taurus season. The month of May is very connected to the card of the Empress. I'm, I just, I, I cannot stop smiling seeing those three cards. This is very connected to a new beginning of some sort. So if some of you guys are single uh, and open, maybe for a new relationship or even a new friendship, a new connection, I feel like there could be something happening online or there could be someone reaching out in person or online and, you know, initiating a conversation it feels like this person will change your perspective about something, open your mind about something. And this is someone who radiates self-love, which is going to be a theme that comes up for you this month. You're going to be very attracted by that energy. Um, this could be someone that is not necessarily your usual type. And it, again, it doesn't have to be about romance. It could be a friend. It could be you know, a new relationship of some sort, but this is someone that might not be your usual type, but you are very attracted to their spirit, to their confidence, their self-love. It's very inspiring to you. So be open. The Empress is a lot about that. It's our openness to receive and sometimes our inability to receive. And this is someone who has a lot of love to give, who knows a lot about life, Someone that's very intelligent and you're going to have, I believe, very beautiful conversation. And that could be growing and evolving into something uh, permanent, something long lasting. And I like that. So a lot of new beginning energy here. You know, a lot of page, the emperor, three of wands, two. Uh, we have the ace of swords. There is a lot that is starting a lot that is starting, that is taking form, that is expanding for you in the month of May. So this is a month of abundance uh, and growth. 
you are going to grow a lot and you are going to help other people grow also. So, yeah, this is um, this is very interesting. And again, I wish this was my reading. There are so many major cards. If you know tarot a little bit, you're probably looking and being like, what? This is big. So, yes, there are challenges along the way. But it's nothing that your own wisdom, the wisdom of your body, cannot help you go through. So trust yourself and make sure that when something happens, you are not being influenced by all the people that have no idea what you're going through, really. It has to come from you and uh, from your own values. But again, with the moon as general energy, there's a lot of ups and downs, a lot of uncertainty, but you are in control. You are riding the wave like a champion, really. So I'm sending love, Aquarius, and I will talk to you guys next week for your bonus reading. I'm very aware that you guys did not get a bonus reading uh, in my last bonus reading. I'm very sorry about that. There was so much happening in my life, and every time I tried to record, I felt very anxious, and I did not want to share that energy with you. So in the bonus reading, you guys are going to be the first one to get the bonus reading. So thank you so much for your understanding and for your support. Make sure to like the video. Make sure to subscribe. And if you want to learn to read tarot in a more soulful way, you can join me on Patreon. And I post an hour-long mystery reading every Saturday morning. And I also post a pick-a-card reading every first of the month. So... Monday, May 1st, there's a pick a card reading coming out. Come check it out. You can subscribe just for one month and binge all the lessons. And I would love to interact with you there. So the link is below. Bye, guys.